Hello. Rimworld. Pirates. Building. Caravans. Repairs. Muffalo. You like them. Turrets. You like those. Today in Rimworld, we up the ante. Too long have we lived in a square. Now comes the time for a metamorphosis into a great circle, sort of. The worst of the toxic fallout is settled, and the world returns to normalcy. Today in Rimworld, we build bedrooms. Bedrooms are places where people sleep. So we'll deliver the stones here, we'll take out the bottom exit, and then we'll begin on an actual bedroom area. This is the final outlying wall of our base. I am proud. First, we take out the block, and then we begin by preparing one wing of our bedrooms. Yes, a wing. Deliver all the stuff, and then debuild our front entrance. We won't need this anymore. Now that we have turrets, we're not going to have a kill- We won't have a kill hallway anymore, but more of a kill circle. It's kind of like the circle of life, but it's just the circle of death instead. Yes, the circle of death. Raiders come in through one of four entrances. They wander in here and then they'll be shot by turrets if they come in the middle. So we'll need to debuild the rest of this junk too. And all of this. And we'll relocate these somewhere else. We have another mechanoid cluster. This one is definitely worse. Uh, but I mean, we're already affected by a weather controller for God's sake. It makes no difference to me whatsoever. Although I wish I could have had all this. That is kind of regrettable. Regardless, it's really not that bad. The wealth keeps rising. We're rich AF here. We're not rich AF, but we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Cargo pods of a bunch of chicken eggs, unfertilized. All right, those are food. Orange gets more good work done. It's time to be pirates. Tapir and termite fight the pirates. Now this weather controller is bogus, but I mean, we're good enough anyway, so it's time to surprise them. All right, four badly armed Unix. We'll head in and we'll probably outrange these people. Yep, we're far better range on us. Termite doesn't have quite as much range, but still far better than theirs. I think Tapir can just shoot and Termite waits for them to come close. Yep, well, they seem to be rushing me, so we should be fine here. They're actually forced to go in on these rocks. Shooting level 13, and just as long as we don't get hit. Ah, all right, hit in the right kidney with the pump shotgun. No immediate danger, though. And one of them is going for. All right, let's just release some smoke screens so they don't hit us. We got one down. Keep up with the fire fight. Yeah, she's gonna die in eight hours. Hit Ian, hit Ian. Great job, my people. We will never give up headshot. And this guy has a permanent gunshot injury in his brain. Very painful. There we are. Oh, wow, they've actually fled. Well, neither of us is a very good doctor, but... Well, let's go ahead and fix ourselves up. We'll grab that medicine. You're not really worth saving. You can just go. I'll use you for some, uh, target practice. And nothing. Neither has any medical experience. So let's go find their beds. Take down the doors and turn off this weather generator. We might even be able to nab some of these other materials before we leave. Good, just destroy the doors. We can take their heaters and other items. Uh, that must be it. Go ahead, go ahead and destroy it. And they had a lot of stuff. I'll take all of that. Gladly. Termite's just going to tend to tap here, and although it won't be great, maybe we'll uh, not have mood breaks. There we are, good as new. Nothing but a spinal crack. And let's just destroy this thing. There we go, there we go. Don't go crazy, please. Oh, for God's sake, psychic ship. Uh, and that's at the main base. Okay, the mechanoids have it in for us now. Uh, this will get worse and worse over the days. Things are heating up, and it is gone. There we go. Oh crap, turns out this guy Daisuke was actually Orange's grandfather. That was unfortunate. Uh, he was rather good, damn. Well, he's dead now, he's dead now. Uh, that would have been very nice. Well, goodbye, place. Just grab everything you can. Or rather, don't, because they're going to starve on the way back. <laughs> We're going to have to meet them out there if they don't starve to death first. Well, this has been a nice colony. Um, yep, that's, uh... Well, it's not the end. We could always just come in with the MP grenades and we'll be fine. In fact, I think we will once our guests get back. Excuse me, I need this. I don't think Braga will do too well with this environment. Well, on the bright side, at least as our robot overlords melt our brains, we can live in nice, swanky-ass bedrooms. Orange has finished work on most of the basic bedroom layout. Shelter and security is afforded now. We get to work on the essential heat for life, placing vents for each bedroom. The drone is intensifying. Uh, 
Men are now very upset. We got a moderate psychic drone on men. Oh, but this is only men. The women will be fine. So th that basically just means that Braga will go crazy every now and then. He's pretty much the only one to worry about. He, he can just be in a constant state of catharsis. So that's fine with me. Orange will get by. Ah, uh, excellent. A catatonic breakdown. Just what I needed. Fortunately, this colony is mostly women. We'll run down the power lines. And our caravan's just arriving back. The caravan has arrived. And they should come in safely. Termites having a party. This is great for moods. And I think I'm just going to ignore Braga being psychologically unstable and about to break and having a catatonic breakdown. This is not that big an effect on the colony. It's one less holler. Orange and Top Ear finish out the bedroom roofing. After the roofs, it's time to move our beds into the actual bedrooms. And now we can remove the carpets from our grow zone. Instead, placing carpets in our bedrooms. The drone is intensifying yet again, and soon Orange will be unfathomably sad. But I don't know if he's had a single catharsis up till this point. It might just be time for him to have a catharsis. Then let the catharsis come. Well, as long as Orange remains married and in bed, he'll be happy. So we'll just bring over the bed and put it in there. We got a quest of three refugees approaching. Since it gives me more colonists to decide between, I think I am going to accept this. It's more workers for free and, well, maybe they'll be good. Transhumanist, great memory, nudist, slowpoke, kind. This one might be our doctor, although uh, there are many incapabilities. Well, it's free workers for now, and that doesn't really add to my wealth as far as I can see. We'll take them. They'll sleep with the plants. But now, since everyone is going crazy, we will use them for construction. I must say it's nice to have visitors that don't add to your wealth. It's definitely nice to have a nutrient paste dispenser too. And it's nice to have individual bedrooms. It's not nice to have a high psychic drone. I'll tell you what, I think we're just gonna take these three colonists, draft them, and sacrifice them to the Mechanites. That's right, we won't actually pay any consequences for this. Though it uh, may not be moral, but what is morality when you are living in the North Pole? Come everyone, let us go into the fray. This happens to be one of the few times that Braga isn't suffering from an emotional break, so. But I do have an idea. We just line up our colonists. Stand there and there and there and and there. You stand there. I have an idea for what to do with you. Okay, Maki, Maki and McCarthy are gonna wrap up these other two Lancers while everyone else fights. If we do this, we prevent them from getting any shots in on us. All right, on the count of three, here goes nothing. You two stand there. You can stand there. You stand there. You two stand there. You stand there. You stand there. All right, we get one shot at this. Get ready in three, two, one, and go. There we go. Uh, and that kind of failed epically. Uh, let's see how this goes. Wow, Braga, you really suck with these things. His left leg was shot off because he fails with grenades. What an absolute bore of a man. There we go. All right, everybody else just go in for the fight. Okay, Braga's leg's been shot off. You attack that, you attack that. Go home, go home. Go home, go home. Well, I mean, Braga's, uh, you better get in bed, man. <laughs> that did not look good. Jesus. Well, he's not so upset that he lost his leg. He's just, he's more upset about the drone. Uh, I mean, he was a crafter, so this doesn't make a major difference, but he's not gonna make a great hauler anymore. Oh, well, we got, uh, we got Mitch out of it. All right, he, uh, he's taking it like a champ, really. I love it how in RimWorld you could just lose a leg and it's like, all that really happens is you're just slightly slower. It doesn't make a major difference. Let's destroy this thing now. I really don't like psychic drones at all. Glad that's over. That was a ringing in my ears. Well. Now we can go back home and be merry. Odd that McCarthy and Mitch made it out of that all right. Oh, I guess if we had thrown the grenades from a different side, we could have decreased the risk, but I mean, it just goes to show Braga is just not a very good shot. And I, well, I mean, he goes on mental breaks a lot. And the fact that he's slightly less mobile might actually be a, this might be an okay thing. And it doesn't really give him any pain either. It just kind of like, cauterized his leg. Everyone else is in general happier, and I can't think of a better way to enter our colony. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these solar panels. We just need the steel more in other places for more hydroponics basins, of course. Now we can get rid of this goddamn carpet, get more cargo pods, install a pig leg on Braga. We're actually gonna start to create a hospital around this area. A manhunter pack of arctic foxes. This is a huge herd, but I'm gonna show you what our new defenses are capable of now. So equipping these frag grenades and turning on the 
turrets. I'm going to draft all my colonists and send them here. Now you might have noticed that this base is just sort of open. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why I have all these turrets facing toward the middle. My plan is to just let intruders in now and well I think you can I think you can tell how the rest will go. We'll just get into position, watch the foxes come through and then begin the show. This is how intruders should look. A couple of them will go for our muffalo or wherever else but for the most part this is really safe for raids. We'll need more in the end but maybe I shouldn't trust you with these grenades anymore. Seems like he's doing more harm than good. But that's how raids are going to work now. We'll let enemies in. Looks like we lost one of our turrets there. Not such a big deal. We could just reconstruct it and now we have tons of steel, but eh, there's plenty going on here now. We'll operate on Braga real fast and see if this is a success and epic fail. He scratched the rest of his butt. Don't know how. We'll continue to try with this peg leg and it looks like Orange got it this time. Nice. Braga has a peg leg now. A raid by the Cervexa Covenant. It's unfortunate, but they won't hit any of these mech clusters. Regardless, they're very weak still. And some of our colonists are out on a daze. Now, this is just one of the useless visitors, though. But I have another idea. If they're just loitering out there, well, let's bring the fight to them. This is a stationary target. So let's go for this guy. Just aim for the center. And that's one hit. And here's another. Maybe. Ah. Uh... All right, man the turrets, man the turrets. Oh, it does look like that they got into a fight with the mechs. Okay, well that takes care of these ones for us. And the last ones should be made short work of by our traps. One group is fleeing, Orange, you get in here too. Mitch, you should probably just uh, stand back. You just wait over here. Maki, get out of here. Here comes one Kercha, Kercha. And we'll, uh, we'll need to make that into sandbags so they don't use that for cover, but still a pretty good defense. Make one or two slight changes here. There we go. Mitch, get behind sandbags. This is pretty good. Oh, you get out of there. You get right out of there. Much better. Uh, this is not a bad defense, you know? That works pretty well. Different from a normal kill box, and I'm just tired of seeing kill boxes. Of course, we'll need sandbags over here, but that's beside the point. Uh, Braga has created a masterwork shirt. This is what I've been waiting for. These items are really valuable. It's the reason why he's a good colonist. He has that single passion. That's what makes it all worth it. Well, now we've got some more fields ready. Power is stabilized. Visitors can come in and out. We've also gone ahead and created a drop-off area for orbital traders. Later on, we'll roof over this area, and then orbital traders should drop in these hollows of our base. It looks like our visitors are getting into a fight with these mechs. We'll see if they fight the mechs or if they just run away. My money's on, uh, well, that was kind of a surprise. You know, I think I'm just gonna leave the mechs there because they're sort of helping me get gear from whoever passes by our base. I mean, just look at all of the items these people are dropping. It's not bothering me in any way. It's just fog. Let's see who wins this one. My money's on the raiders. No, it looks like they're starting to lose. Now nah, the mechs are gonna win this one. Unfortunately, I can't take much of this stuff, but I could just nuke the place. This is at... 61 out of 180. So have to be careful not to misfire here. I've already done most of the work on the- you know, this might even be shielding me from tough stuff, but I digress. Let's, uh, do the good deed. All right, well, that's the last of our, uh, allies. A little bit scary, but they took out a lot of that emplacement for us. Oh, we did get a hit in. There we go. Maybe this will spread to the steel. Nope. Oh, well. Forget it for now, Al. Oh, we lost our guests. Alas, but we didn't get the one we wanted. Fine by me. I did like Mitch, but really need a crafter even more. And one better than Braga. He's just not that good. It still might lead to a possible future reward. We don't know. Uh, now with the visitors gone, we have a surplus of rice. We can prepare to embark for our next voyage. And this one is pretty important. Now we have five muffalo to carry things. So Tapir will prepare the meals. And with this, we set off on a journey. Orange, joined by several muffalo, will go to trade for bricks. Another mechanoid cluster. They're beginning to become more powerful. Not to mention closer to our base. This one has our walls in its sight. But no matter, we're going west. And I'm somehow sure that this mech cluster is gonna get wiped out before we even have to fight it. Quite frankly, I'm not really worried about us. Ah, uh, the time has come. An exotic goods trader. I feel pretty bad for them, but I'm gonna come up from the other side with EMP grenades. I had a hunch something like this would happen. Okay, my people, bring out the pitchforks and torches. Yep, there they go. Uh... A proximity act. Oh my god. All right, we'd better get in there fast. Fortunately, it's Walia won't actually be angry. Whoa. Well done. Look at the copybaras. Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look. Oh, excellent job, Braga. Great. Think of all the things we'll get. Hmm. How can we most capitalize on the rest of this? Uh, well, I think that's it. Well done. Well done, Covenant of Ithwalia. For you have raised our wealth. In time, I will repay each of you. Oh, I'm surprised that they just leave all of their people behind. And that's still not the only mech cluster on the map. That gives us more steel. And likewise, this is a lot more steel for our colony. Is that a wanderer join? Um, just joined. Not really any say in the matter. A decent doctor. We needed that. And a construct- This person might be useful, in fact. Good in melee combat. This might be our frontline fighter in the future. Pelican. We enemies of the state will learn to fear Pelican. Also comes equipped with an auto pistol. Very good then. Welcome aboard Pelican. I don't really have any say in the matter. Then make yourself useful, please. That's not what I meant by make yourself useful. Or that. Of course, the first two actions would be extremely lazy. And the third action as well. I didn't even expect that. Ah, well. Uh, go ahead, deconstruct the steel now that you're sufficiently inebriated. We have a bed right here for you. Had some light leather fall out of the sky. An orange's caravan is about to arrive back. They're running out of food. Not great, but they should make it back in time. And we hired all these alpaca, which will slaughter when they arrive back. Excellent. Oh no. I just realized that Pelican is a body purist with a peg leg. Okay, no more peg leg. Either that or I could just banish. You know what? No, you know what? Banishment. All of this comes off. You, sir, are banished. Be gone. Only top ear will be sad. Only top ear. Be gone, pelican. I know, Orange has dropped off all of the granite that we took. And it's time for these alpaca to go. We now have enough granite to build everyone a bedroom. And Orange can finish off this entire section. Now our colonists will be happy and free from mental breaks. Ah, bulk goods trader. So nice. Yes, follower interstellar. I thought we'd had our share of bulk goods traders, but I'm not really prepared. I'm gonna send... I'm gonna need to sell them some good stuff, though. We have all these muffalo wool parkas. We need them, but we need blocks more. And <laughs> they don't have any blocks. Uh... Oh wait, no, they do. They have tons of limestone. Very well then. Oh my god. I can afford 1,500... <laughs> Okay, that's enough blocks for the whole base, pretty much. Wow, amazing. I'd really like the steel, too, though. Let's just sell more than I would really care to. You know, I don't really need the elder muffalo anymore, either. I can even sell this one as well. I I need only two muffalo. Well, you know, we'll, we'll save more of the females just for, you know, bearing more muffalo. I don't know, here's a good deal. Where will it land? Oh, sh Okay, I'm gonna need to take out another entrance. I was planning on making this an entrance anyway. All right, then let's just finish off the base. Put everyone on construction for a few days. Okay, just a bit more trading to do. We'll just get a few more of these blocks. And that delivers us more than what we need. Now we're rich in stone, and I think we have enough to finish the outer walls. Well, I think that'll do for now. Later on, we'll open up this circle so that it takes raids more readily. But I think that for right now, it's, uh... Well, we've got the limestone we need, so we're pretty much in business now. We have enough for more hydroponics base in the center, our grow zone should be completed soon. This is getting to be more of a late game colony. Now all that's left is to uh, recruit colonists who can actually defend themselves and, you know, more quality of life stuff, but it's really more of a, like, technological advancement. Very nice to watch it happen now. It's It covers the entire screen. It's amazing. I think we'll leave it there for today, shall we? As always, a, a tremendous thanks goes out to the, uh, to the patrons. Thank Thank you very much. You cut the blight of my crops in the... You are the smelter that allows me to sm smelt the steel. You are the limestone bricks with which I build my outer wall. And I can't thank you enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. Goodbye now. Ah, love at first sight.